if you get your Singer Heavy Duty sewing machine and you take it out of the box and begin to try to use it and whenever you press the foot control you hear this and you get no movement from the needle or the bobbin winder you hear nothing but a but a running motor like that what that could indicate is that the belt inside the machine slipped off uh, during transit from our warehouse to you not a big problem easy to correct what you want to do first is turn off the machine disconnect the power cord there is behind the handle when you lift the handle up there's two screws one and two you want to go ahead and loosen those two screws that are underneath this handle whenever you loosen those two screws this top plate will come off like that we'll go ahead and set that to the side and here is a cogged wheel the belt should be on this wheel but as we can see it's not and the belt has slid over here to the right not a big problem uh, what you want to do is normally I just take and take a screwdriver like I'm doing here and you can just simply grab a hold of that belt sometimes it's kinda like a uh, fishing expedition and uh, if you can't get it with a, a flathead screwdriver I've got a pair of hemostats here but most households don't have hemostats and you can use needle nose pliers that's fine you can see that I've grabbed a hold of the belt here brought it up so I could grab it with my hand you'll just take and slip that belt onto that cog wheel it'll probably go on to a portion of it and then just turn the wheel to get it to fit on the rest of the uh, cog wheel and it slipped on there then we'll go ahead and put our top back on there's a little tab over here that you'll want to get that in first into the left hand side and then push down on the right hand side don't forget to tighten your two screws underneath the handle and once you do go ahead and plug back in the machine go ahead and power it on and you should now have motion from the needle and when you press your bobbin winder to the right your bobbin winder works if you have any questions please feel free to contact our support team at support at sewing in usa.com